sorry. I have to thank digital portable TVs, a hot commodity as hurricane season approaches. It has a built in rechargeable battery, so like when you have power outages, any severe weather, you can continue to use this particular unit. We went to Radio Shack to find out what you'll want to look for when you're buying one. <laughs> First of all, getting one might take a while, so do it soon. Most stores are selling out quickly each time they get a shipment. Probably with these, probably go in about three or four days. Just there's the demand. We also had a list going there for a while. Manager Jim Park explains most models come with everything you need. An AC adapter, car adapter, a rechargeable internal or external battery, an antenna, even a remote control. Typically, these portable TVs run between $100 and $200. First thing to do when you get one is make sure you get a signal. It's either going to be there or it's not going to be there. With The nice thing with the digital signal, when it is there, it's crystal clear. It's not like old rabbit ears. There won't be fuzz if the stations aren't coming in clearly. The set will just say no signal or something similar. When you first buy a portable set, there are a few things you need to do to pick up local stations. To make sure it's on air if you want to pick up your local broadcast. Scroll down to auto scan. What it'll do, it'll automatically put all the local channels in memory. But not everyone in southwest Florida will have as easy a time. The farther south you are, the harder it will be to pick up a signal on all portable digital TVs. We're at our transmitter tower in southern Charlotte County. This tower sends our digital signal to the entire viewing area. And in fact, the other local TV stations have their towers around here as well. So we're going to try something. We're going to drive to the southern part of our viewing area to see if you'll be able to get a digital signal on one of these. OK, so we're on Marco Island now. Let's give this thing a try. And it looks like down here we can't get a digital signal. For Marco Island, more or less, they're most likely going to need something outside. Park says the only real option to improve the digital signals down south is an antenna like this one that you'd put on your home or in your itself. attic. Just a couple of bolts that goes through each section of it. And these work very well. The only drawback, they are fairly large, but they will draw in a station up to about 80 miles away. Not everyone would want this on their house, though, and there's no guarantee it would stay up during a storm. So your best bet is buy a portable digital TV and try it out well before a storm is coming. That way, if you know you can't get NBC2 to get your vital information, you know you'll need to make other plans when a hurricane hits. Marissa Brainy, NBC2.